Hey, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I am Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. And this is a story about legal gaming class lawsuit stuff. <laughs> Diablo 3 is creating quite the stir with Korean gamers right now, and the gaming pot could be stirred right into a class action lawsuit. As we all know, server problems plague Blizzard, and the gaming mass is looking to venture out on hell quests. And now Korean PC bang owners are banding together to go after Blizzard for damages suffered from losses attributed to the continuous inability to log into the gaming servers. First off, what's a PC bang? It's basically an internet cafe focused on multiplayer computer games. Customers pop themselves down to play online games and pay an hourly fee somewhere around the equivalent of one to two US dollars. The atmosphere is littered with groups of friends gaming together for real life social benefits and the computer benefits because the PC bang's hardware tends to be superior to the computers found back in their homes. People can eat and drink and smoke and stuff, so PC bangs are basically the modern day Korean equivalent to old school arcades. And now, the owners of these bang businesses are joining forces and becoming like a real big legal super bang. Anything about that last statement. You're welcome. Korean Internet PC Culture Association, or IPCA for short, threw up a website called Diablo 3 Damage Lawsuit. It's basically a rallying call and home base for PC bang owners claiming that the connection debacle is costing them cold, hard Korean cash. Basically, people come in hoping to play some Diablo. The maintenance prompt says, oh, it'll be a couple of hours. It goes on all day, and then these people peace out and they ask for refunds. The head honcho of IPCA states Korea accounts for a large percentage of Blizzard's total revenue, and considering how much domestic users contribute to the firm's profit, its consumer services are severely disappointing. And and customer service has been a problem over there as of late, as evidenced by the fact that the South Korean Fair Trade Commission raided Blizzard Korea's offices after the company refused to refund frustrated gamers. Look, easy customer service solution here, guys. Refund the people that are not satisfied with your product. You're successful enough that that shouldn't be a problem. And as far as the lawsuit goes, yeah. just go away. Go away with your lawsuit. Everyone has to deal with these problems. You guys don't exist in a bubble where connection problems only affect you. You choose to do business in a realm where connection issues and server maintenance exist. Make a little sign and put it on your door that says something like, not responsible for Diablo 3 connection turns. The reality here is that the problem will continue to get better as Blizzard figures this whole thing out, and then you can get back to reaping the benefits of a youth culture addicted to gaming. However, there's also something to be said for Blizzard maybe possibly prematurely pushing out a product that may not have been 100% ready for the market. Clearly, Blizzard didn't anticipate the server problems and maybe they didn't expect such large numbers. And of course, there's the whole real life auction house thing that was supposed to be a thing and then the game was released and then it was pushed. This stuff is frustrating but you have to give it to Blizzard because they always seem to be working towards solutions and the betterment of their product. And speaking on the betterment of the product, the auction house, assuming everything goes according to reformulated plans, will go live today. So there's that. So I'm going to throw it to you guys. What has been your experience with Diablo 3 so far? Has it been negative? Pleasant? And do you think this lawsuit holds any grounds? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course we would Love it if you click the like button or the subscribe button and click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and you know every other story you've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Joe Beretta. What? What's happening?